How many factors does 45 have? We're going to answer this question by first listing all of the factors of 45. So remember, factors are numbers that go into 45 exactly without leaving a remainder. Now, 1 goes into every single whole number. Uh, so we start with 1. 1 goes into 45, 45 times. So 1 and 45 are a factor pair. Next, I'm going to think after 1, I've got 2. Does 2 go into 45? No, it doesn't. What about 3? Yes, 3 goes into 45 15 times. Now, if you weren't sure about that, you could work it out using some division method like this. 3 goes into 4 once, leaves a remainder of 1, and 3 goes into 15 five times. So 3 goes into 45 15 times. So 3 times 15 is 45. That means 3 and 15 are factors of 45. Next, we can see if 4 goes into 45. No, it doesn't. So let's try 5 next. 5 does go into 45 because I know 5 9s are 45. So that's 5 and 9. That's another factor pair. Next, I'll check 6. No, 6 doesn't go. How about 7? No, 7 doesn't go. How about 8? Eight doesn't go either. How about nine? Nine does go, but I don't need to list it again because I've already got nine here. So when I get a number in the second list, I can stop testing out more numbers. I now know that I've got all of the factors of 45. So the answer to this question is six. I've got six factors listed for the number 45. Now, how many factors does 126 have? I'm going to do the same thing. I'll start with 1 and 126. That's a factor pair. Next, does 2 go into it? That's an even number, so I know 2 goes into it. And I can do 126 divided by 2 in my head. I just halve it, and that gives me 63. Next, does 3 go into 126? Yes, it does. 3 goes into 126 42 times. Again, if you're not sure, you can test it using a method like this or using a calculator. How about the number 4? Does 4 go into 126? No, it doesn't. So let's try 5. Does 5 go into 126? No, it doesn't. It doesn't end in a 5 or a 0 in the units column. So 5 doesn't go. How about 6? Yes. 6 goes into 126 exactly 21 times. So 6 and 21 are another pair of factors. How about 7? Does 7 go into 126? The answer is yes. 7 goes into 126 18 times. How about 8? Does 8 go into 126? Now again, if you're not sure, just test it out using a division method like this. I uh, will do this as an example. So 8 doesn't go into 1, so I'll think of it as 12. 8 goes into 12 once, remainder 4. 8 goes into 46 five times, but leaves a remainder of 6. So this tells me that 8 doesn't go into 126 exactly. So 8 is not a factor of 126. How about 9? Well, 9 does go, uh, and in fact, it goes in exactly 14 times. Next, does 10 go? No, it doesn't. If 10 was a factor, then we would have a 0 in the units column here, wouldn't we? So 10 is not a factor. How about 11? Well, I know 11 squared is 121, and that means 126, which is only 5 above that, can't be... A multiple of 11, that means 11 is not a factor of 126. How about 12? No, for similar reasons. I know that 12 goes into 120, so it's not going to go into 126. How about 13? Again, it's not going to go. How about 14? Well, I've already got 14. It's in this list. It's in the second column of my list, so I can stop there. That means I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 factors.